always dreamed of a car that runs on sunshine. I thought that dream might never be fulfilled except for a golf cart. Hey everybody, this is Barry. Today I'm going to show you a little project I did. This is my wife's beat up old antique golf cart. I think it's a 84 model, something like that. She got tired of charging it and so uh, she wanted me to put some solar panels on it. And it's basically a solar powered golf cart. I rarely to never have to charge this thing with a charger. Just park it out in the sun 10 or 15 minutes and uh, it's good to go. It charges so well that uh, the charge controller, the solar controller will basically have to stop charging. We have 300 watts of panels on the roof and this kind of um, Flintstones configuration and it's three Renogy 100 watt panels. They work quite well for this uh, application and the solar controller is a 36 volt MPPT controller and the model number is RS 485 we ordered it off of Amazon I think it was um, about hundred and twenty dollars around there it works quite well the controller we decided that a nice fairly weather resistant way to mount it is to use an old mailbox and you can hear the fan the cooling fan is currently on but it works pretty well it's just a beat up old cart my kids have wrecked it a little bit there and uh, the seats gone. I have to sit on a piece of plywood. Other than that, it's it's a pretty handy thing. Much better than a noisy gasoline-powered four-wheeler. But this is a. It's an antique, like I said. It's 36 volt, 6, 6 volt golf cart batteries. What we have here is an old solenoid resistor set up. No, um, you know, power controller, any of that modern stuff. And the plastic helps keep the, uh, the dust from off the top of the battery. Provide and you make sure the batteries can still ventilate. The uh, panels are in series, and having a 36 volt controller, that's great. So, all you have to do is put the positive on the most positive and put the negative on the most negative, and you got it. What? It's, um, uh, turned out quite well this project 
Let me show you a little more about the uh, how the panels are hanging up there. But we used half inch electrical conduit metal tubing. I just drilled holes in the tubing and bolted it together. You can see for yourself it's uh, it's kind of Flintstones. You know, proper gussets and uh, once again an X um, provides uh, good stability from side to side give. Like I said, we have the panels wired up in series. There's gussets on the back. There's also an X in the back. And there are small gussets right here. You know, I don't have an engineering degree, but this works pretty well. It's, uh, the panels are stable. It doesn't give at all. It's solid as a rock. The kids have uh, driven this thing over pretty bumpy terrain and uh, abused it and uh, the panels hadn't fallen off yet. It's basically solar powered. I mean if you if you put some lights on it and drove it a lot at night um, yeah it would run the batteries down but if you only drive it during the day you'd probably have to drive it quite a distance um, before it ran the batteries down and you know just just let it sit there in the sun for 15 or 20 minutes you're ready to go again you never have to gas this thing up you basically never have to charge it if anyone out there would like to build one of these hey go for it you just need the the panels and some conduit and the solar controller and another thing to keep in mind is these old antique um, golf carts they're pretty cheap actually if you can find um, somebody who's uh, you know, know somebody at a golf course and um, they have some and they're going to retire. You know, find out where their retired golf carts go. With batteries, it's, it's going to cost you a little more, you know, if it's running and driving. But some, sometimes they have the dirt cheap ones that need a set of batteries. This one was basically free. It was bought for about the price of a set of batteries, so the golf cart had batteries. Basically, the golf cart came with the batteries. So sometimes you can get some deals on these old golf carts and a lot of times you can get one that's not completely worn out. You just have to do some shopping and uh, and you may be able to get a pretty good deal on one. But there's enough information there. You could take these ideas and uh, build something like this for yourself. If you've built your own solar powered golf cart and you have some constructive ideas that may help others or help me make this one better, Please comment below. Share with us the story of your solar golf cart build. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video and thank you for watching.